G'day and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Having a look at some batteries today. Having a bit of a battery of the battery. Well, these batteries have experienced a bit of battery anyway. So I would normally be flying these. These are like 1500 milliamp tattoo or a Florian. I've got to say, I can highly recommend the Florians. They have lasted a long time, received a lot of abuse and have kept on performing. So very happy with those. But today we have an Auline and, and, and not a polymer, an ion, a lithium ion. Now I know there's been a lot of good work on lithium ions in the past, uh, but as I'm sure anyone who's tried them out is aware, so they do st tend to suffer from low current output, like a low sustained current output. However, this AU line pack, AU line pack, uh, which is using the Sony VTC 5As, thinks or claims it can do 35 amp sustained current. Now, that's probably enough to run a bigger quad, like a six inch or a, uh, or a five inch. Now, I'm not gonna be running on this quad exactly, but I am gonna be running on the Dark Mutt Mark II, which is the 4S version of this. Although that has uh, the Fat Shark system in it. And uh, just gonna see how it performs, if it can fly the quad and um, how long it can fly it for. So not a very long video today, but the first step, of course, is to charge it. Um, and a quick unbox, it did come with a little uh, warning, uh, instruction and warranty thing in the cardboard box with a little bit of bubble wrap. Anyway, let's plug them in and find out what its initial voltage, each, blah, blah, what its initial voltage is uh, it was shipped with, and um, you know what it, uh, how much power it takes, and then we'll go fly it. So we've got 3.41 or 4.2 on the cells. Let's charge it up and uh, see how much juice it takes. I'll also have a quick check of the internal resistance while we do. So as you can see, the internal resistances are not completely balanced off the bat. Uh, one and three are both 29.5 milliohms, but uh, two and four are 32.6 and 30.6 respectively. Um, yeah, so, I mean, ideally they would be perfectly matched, but it is a balanced uh, pack, so you, know, you, charged it, you can charge it balanced and, and that sorts it out. Um, but yeah, there you go. Eventually. Okay, so 1.97 amps, amp hours went in, and uh, the internal resistance has lowered itself, as you can see. All right, let's go take this thing up in the air. Okay, so here we are up at camp, which is the de facto fly spot for the moment. It's strapped on. Let's give it a go.
Okay. Excuse me. Water in my eye from opening it in the brightness. Let's go check it on the charger and see how much goes back in. We saw how much the flight controller thought came out. It's pretty good, 12 minutes. Just quickly before I get back down, straight away put my hand on it and 30 something. It's, I'd, I'd want a cup of tea to be hotter than that to drink it really, to be ideal. That might be pretty warm, but that's the kind of heat I'd get from the Zohod 10 amp max pack uh, flying the um, Cine Queen, which is a much smaller craft, much uh, lower power demands. Anyway, there you go. Okay, so I've plugged it in and it's bounced back to 14 volts and 3.5 on all cells. So let's charge her up. Okay, so she's charged up and it's taken in 1.86 amp hours. And we're about 20, 20 milliamps on the resistance there internally, 19.7 to 22.3. So uh, yeah, that's, that's not bad, that's pretty decent. I suppose if you're gonna flagellate or damage the pack, you could get 15 minutes out of it or more. Kill. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, well, there you go, 12 minutes. And I uh, think I did go over 30, maybe, I had 37 for a, a brief second. Um, I did cut some of that flight out, of course, because there was a lot of just going around and you don't want to, I don't want to waste your time with that. Um, so I decided like two songs maximum I was going to put in for video. Uh, if that's too much, let me know in the comments, please. And I'll know for uh, future videos of similar stuff. Um, yeah, nice performance out of this. Reckon it could do a bit more acrobatics. A uh, lot of sag though, as you saw, a lot of sag. And if you were trying to do long range on it, I don't think that'd be the case, but I do think this would be a, uh, a nice lightweight five inch uh, long range option or possibly four inch. Um, I, uh, I'm pretty keen to try it on my, my seven inch, uh, sorry, on the Tyrant six inch. Uh, but that's got a uh, VTX issue at the moment. Compared to the older, uh, you know, uh, what was this, a 10 amp draw max, uh, Zohod battery, uh, this by far outperforms it. Um, very impressed. And while, while I'm on it, I uh, do want to say that the, uh, the AU line batteries, this is another one I've been running on this bad boy, uh, video coming soon. This is, uh, I'm gonna call it Shark Sprite now for one of another name. Um, help me name it if you want with comments in the, uh, in the uh, down below. Uh, it's, it's a good, good battery. It's smaller than uh, say like a, uh, there's none there, they're out there. It's smaller than, um, uh, you know, what I typically would consider a 4S uh, 850, uh, but it's, it's, seems to hold up very well, uh, outperform the larger uh, bonker one that I have there, and that's, that's a pretty good battery. Um, yeah, anyway, look, like and subscribe, stay tuned for some of this. A full build video coming up, plus some interesting uh, um, firmware stuff with Fat Shark. 
something, an, uh, an issue that I have encountered that very few people have encountered with it. So I'm still in the middle of it and uh, you know, I gotta say thank you to Carl for getting back to me so quickly. Um, but yeah, there's some stuff coming out on that and uh, mismatching firmware may be causing an issue. Anyway, I'll cover that in a later video. For now, fly safe, be well, I'll catch you next time.